friends to my kitchen. Ben Vinja Mia Cazinha. What am I doing today? I have been craving cobbles, pastéis bacalhau. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do just about one pound of, um, of cod that I boiled and I shredded real fine. Uh, you can put it in a, in a dish towel and, uh, um, and shred it real fine. I just did it with my hands. That's fine. Or you can also put it in a food processor. So anyway, so I have one pound of uh, cooked cod that I boiled. I have about six medium potatoes that I cooked with the cod, so they're salted with the cod. I have four eggs. I have parsley, probably about a half a cup. I have some chopped um, garlic, and then I have some onion, and then some melagata. First, I need to saute the onion and the garlic before I add it into my, um, into my potatoes. So my potatoes, I uh, mash them with a food mill. You want them real smooth. You don't want no lumps. So I went with a food mill or with a press. That's what you want to do. Mashed potatoes, but real fun. So into my potatoes, I'm going to add my cod. I'll mix all this with my onions and garlic. I'll saute it in the back. I have been craving this, and it's funny that I go on Facebook or on Instagram and I see so many people making this. So I decided I better make a video of this. And then my father-in-law, he loves this. So I figure I would surprise him and make some for him. I'm going to crack some, I'm going to start with three eggs. And then if we need more, we'll add more. want them to get soft. I'm going to add my eggs into my, to my potatoes and mix it. This is a very easy, you can make a meal with this. You could make an appetizer. I make a meal with it. And every time I remember this, every time I make this, it brings a memory to my mind that when we were in school, I don't know, maybe 13, 14 years old, we used to eat in the cafeteria, but we didn't eat all the time. And there was days my mom would give us money for us to eat in the cafeteria. And I loved the day that they made this. I'm gonna add my parsley. They would make this. It was so good. And like I said, every time I think of pastéis de bacalhau, that's where I go. My mind goes to that. Let me see my onions. They're done. So I'm going to add the onions, mix all this, and I think three eggs is good, it's just enough. I'm going to taste for salt, I didn't add no salt, mm. can't forget my melagata, I don't think it needs salt. Especially too with my melagata, no need salt. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna let this sit for maybe about 15 minutes so those flavors can blend. 
and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator so a uh, um, it uh, so, uh, hardens so it'll be easier to shake. Okay, friends, here I'm shaping my cod balls. I'm making some plain like this, and then I'm gonna do others. I'm gonna roll them in panko and mix them crispy. Reason I'm doing without this because I wanna give some to my son and he can't have no gluten. So. in the oil. Those I'm gonna leave it plain. Then the other ones I'm gonna roll in panko. Please tell me in the comment, do you make these as appetizers or do you make this as a meal because we used to make have this as a meal but I see a lot of people make them as appetizers so I have a video already with a recipe like this so <clears throat> but it's been a while and you can shape them and put them in a free in a refrigerator. They'll um, be easier to handle. But we're getting close to lunch, so I don't have time to keep them too long in the refrigerator. I'm gonna flip those. beautiful. My son is going to be happy. He loves these. And I'm going to surprise him because it's a very important day today for my oldest son. He works for, um, he's in charge of cherries. I ship, ship uh, cherries all over the world. And he's been in charge of a packing plant, building a packing plant for cherries. And today is his opening day. So I didn't know that. I just found out that it was opening day and I was making this for him. So I figured I would surprise him. I'm a very proud mama today. Very proud. He, he's done so much. All my kids did. All my kids have accomplished more than I dreamed for them. But they work hard. They all work hard. And that's all we want in life is for our kids to succeed and work hard and reason what they what they work for and so I am very grateful to God today and every day so I'm going to continue to do this and then I will show you when it's done you have to excuse me I'm going to turn my back but in order for you to see I have to move the camera away I'm gonna surprise this to my in-laws. They don't know that I'm making these either. And that's one of their favorites. Here it is, friends. My pastèche de bacalao, or cod balls. They look delicious. And these are so crispy because I used that panko 
And these are the ones I did without it. Looked good just the same way. Whew, I want one that is cool. That one's too hot. Mm. So good. You make a meal with this. A couple of these and I'm done. <clears throat> Leave in the comment if you make these for a meal or if you make them for uh, appetizer or, you know, um, finger food because I, I make both. But I love them when I make a meal because this is a meal in itself. So anyway, <clears throat> I will leave the recipe on the description. And I already have another video with cod balls. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Give me some thumbs up. Comment on my, my channel. Just say hello, something. I would really appreciate it. And share my videos on your social media with your friends and your family. Until next time, have a good day.